हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ फर्स्ट मिस्टर एस के कुलकर्णी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट डब्ल्यू आई टी सोलापुर टॉपिक ऑफ आवर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज लेवलिंग नीड फॉर इन्वर्टेड स्टाफ रीडिंग्स एंड प्रिकॉशंस इन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ रेड्यूस्ड लेवल्स लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ टूडे सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस लेक्चर स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन नीड फॉर इन्वर्टेड स्टाफ रीडिंग and precautions in calculations of reduced levels compute levels of required points using inverted staff readings and take arithmetic check introduction to inverted staff reading when reduced a level of such a point is required whose collimation plane level is at a higher uh, position than the instrument position then we have to go for inverted staff reading friends that means what is done staff is kept inverted in inverted manner the bottom position of the staff is held touching to the point and this is called inverted staff reading which are such points above the collimation plane level of instrument uh, these are soffits of a bridge balcony slab chajja or beam now here we can see inverted staff reading being taken in this particular image uh this is a building uh, whose canopy is projecting its rl if you want to find there is no alternative but to keep the staff in inverted manner like this see here is the instrument collimation plane level so staff is held in what zero position of the staff will be touching to the point whose rl is required and the reading is taken so this is inverted staff reading now what is the necessity of this inverted staff reading just we have discussed when rls of such points is required is required which are at higher position than the collimation plane level of the instrument then we have to take inverted staff reading and also we have discussed such points are rls of soffits beams slabs and sajjas instruments used for this purpose there are different types of leveling instruments like dumpy level tilting level theod light total station and so many we are using dumpy level for this uh, particular part of the study and leveling staff is uh, used to take the readings it is a uh, uh, member whose height is generally 4 meters and uh, readings are marked on it it is held at the position whose rl is to be found and reading is recorded precautions to be taken during inverted staff readings inverted staff readings are treated as negative quantities remember and recorded accordingly because staff is held inverted and how it is uh, held zero reading of the staff is kept touching to the point on the soffit remember and one more thing is that uh, through the telescope or through the telescope of the instrument inverted image of the part of the uh, staff which is visible is available so what is done uh, reading is taken from bottom to top right so that we will get the correct reading. here we can see inverted staff reading being taken see here uh, this is the slab its soffit is there and here inverted uh, staff is held and reading is taken it is treated as negative reading here also we can see inverted reading negative now let us see one example which will make many things clear to you uh, during the construction construction work the bottom of uh, rcc beam was taken as a beam of rl 90.00 and the following notes were recorded these are the notes reading first reading is on benchmark we know and it is inverted staff reading in this case then second reading is on page a on ground this is the reading an instrument is shifted now it is given so this is a change point then one more reading on the same staff position we know from the new instrument position we have to take one more reading on the same staff this is because change point this is again a back side reading and this is last reading at cornice b and you have to find rls of all these points so first step will be preparing a level uh, page of or uh, level book page in this fa particular fashion remember the first column will be back side then second intermediate side third fourth side collimation plane level rl of particular point and then remarks these are this is the standard level page of a book okay now first reading is always taken on a benchmark we know point whose rl is known so it is called benchmark 
So in remarks, it will be written that the benchmark on beam socket. It, in this case, it is a beam socket. And it is given that stuff was held inverted, right? And so uh, first reading is written in the backside column and it is treated as a negative reading, we can see. And RL of point, uh, RL of benchmark is given as 90.00. It is recorded here. Now the next reading, which is uh, the last reading of this instrument position, remember. So it will come in foresight column, you know. Foresight reading will be the last reading. In all intermediate readings will be intermediate side readings. There is no intermediate side readings, uh, reading in this case, it means. So write down in foresight column the next reading and write down here change point because hereafter the instrument position is changed, right? And after changing position of the instrument, one more reading from the same uh, staff is to be taken from the change the instrument position. So it is written in the same row as it is a back side, it is written under back side. Now, uh, last reading from this new instrument position is taken on cornice at B, it is given. And staff is held inverted, it is also written. So it will be negative reading and because last reading, it will be written in the foresight column. In this fashion, the readings are recorded, friends, right? Now next step will be, we have to set up here collimation plane level, right? Collimation plane level, how to find collimation plane level? RL of benchmark plus backside reading on benchmark will give you collimation plane level. So here the calculations are done, you can see here. 90 plus, um, it is um, negative reading, so minus 2.87.765 is the collimation plane level. Here it is written, here you can see. Now how to find RL of next position, next uh, station? Collimation plane level minus subsequent reading will give you RL of that particular station. So it is done and RLs are found. Here we can see RL of next station is 86.730. How the calculation is done? 87.76, this is collimation plane level RL minus next reading 86.73. Here it is written. And now see here, new instrument position is there. So one more collimation plane level will have to be set because the instrument position is changed. So again, same procedure, RL of this station plus backside reading on that station will give you new collimation plane RL and here it is shown calculation is there, 88.065. So write down new collimation plane. Now here after this collimation plane level will be used to find RL of next point. So 88.065 plus minus this is negative ring. So it will be finally negative uh, 88.065 minus of minus plus 91.8 because subsequent reading is to be deducted you know right so addition of these two finally becomes this much and staff is inverted uh, in the remarks column now let us pause a while students here uh, here are two questions for you solve them first is why inverted staff reading is required to be taken second is how is inverted staff reading recorded in a level page book Okay, these are the two questions. You can solve them from the discussions which we have uh, held up till now. Come on, write your answers. Okay, so why inverted stop reading is taken? Because uh, when RLs of such points is required, which are at a higher position than the instrument position. There is no alternative but to take inverted stop reading, right? And what is the uh, method of recording these inverted stop readings? Uh, inverted stop reading is recorded always as a negative reading because stop is inverted. And which are such points? RLs of soffits of bridge, beams, slabs, etc. Now let us see uh, one more important part that of arithmetic check. We have to check check whether our calculations are correct or not by using this particular check. Remember, this arithmetic check only gives idea about correctness of your calculations. It does not give any idea about correctness of your readings, remember. So for that purpose, um, uh, the arithmetic check which is there, which uh, is like this, sigma backside minus sigma foresight must be equal to last RL minus first RL. 
So you have to check this and if check is not satisfied, you have to revise the calculations, remember. Right? If check is satisfied, no problem. Now here arithmetic check is taken, summation of all the back sides minus summation of all the four sides comes to be plus 1.18 and last RL minus first RL comes to be again plus 1.18. So this equation is satisfied, that means arithmetic check is obtained and our calculations are correct, no need of any revision here. And these are uh, the references of today's session. Please go through this. Thank you.